Hello. Welcome to Chapter 6 of A Dog Like Daisy by Kristen O'Donnell Tubb. In Chapter 5, we learned the very distinct difference between being obedient and being smart. Uh, we will see if Daisy learned her lesson. She does. In this chapter, we see the family behaving like a family. We see Daisy behaving like an elite. We see um, the colonel behaving like a father. It's a really sweet, warm, darling chapter. So without further ado, let's find out what happens. When 10 micas are turned loose in a big room, they run and scream and whack one another with plastic sticks. It's like being caught on the beach in a sudden storm. Sound and sand and salt pelting you from all around. Stinging everywhere, but oddly happy. The boys don't seem miserable, just the opposite. They bare their teeth and whoop and climb things and jump off things and fly to the ground. And whoa, does flying ever look fun? But I am not here to have fun. This is a birthday party after all. I am on the job. Sit I remind myself as I stay seated next to Colonel Victor. I practice my commands even when the rest of my pack doesn't. It helps me be more useful. Elite. Stay. Don't fly. That's not one of my commands, but it should be because my muscles twitch to try it. To jump like they're jumping. Don't fly, Daisy. The Colonel cringes and smiles too tightly around all this chaos, but he's here. Not gone. Not in the cloudy white zone. It's making the rest of our pack very happy. Anna smiles at him, hands him the baby. The Taekwondo studio was a good idea, she says. He nods. Can you imagine trying to do this in our home, she says. He shakes his head. He hugs her with one arm. It's perfect, Kierda. Look at those wild kids. And Anna does, and she smiles too. Today is a yellow day. She flits over to the food, cake, and hot dogs that make my nose hairs tingle. Heaven on a tabletop. I watch her float between the chow and the curly ribbon presents and the humans here from other packs. She smiles and laughs and spreads yellow joy everywhere, as happy and free and swishy as a large park of wide open grass. But Anna is also a fence. She's gentle and joyful, but she keeps her pack together. It's tough to do. It's tough to be a wide open, joyful park and a safe guarding protective fence. Anna does both. She's like a herd dog, that one. Impressive. While the boys fly, Anna lights 12 sticks on fire and jabs them into the cake. My fur crinkles at this and I pant a little. But no one else seems concerned about those little hot danger sticks of fire. So I command myself, sit, Daisy, stay, don't fly. But I've got my eye on that fire. All the humans are starting to sing the same song. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. Feliz cumpleaños, quiero, Micah. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. Humans don't get a whole lot right, but when they make their voices come together in music, it's like cool, clear water. Micah blows out the sticks of fire, which I appreciate. I begrudgingly admit he saved us all. People clap their hands for him. They must agree. Hot dogs, cake, ripping, flying paper, beeping, flashing toys, then more boy flying. Sit, Daisy. Stay, don't fly. Anna approaches me and Victor. She hands him a hot dog, which he gives to me. And, oh, mouth, joy, drool. The colonel laughs. She doesn't even chew. Anna laughs, too. It's like a flower garden in here, all color and honey. She slips her hand into his. I'm glad I'm here this year, he says. Me, too. She shifts, he shifts his weight off his walking stick. That was the worst. Missing the birthdays, holidays, all the soldiers were miserable because everyone was missing Christmas or Thanksgiving together. But missing the birthdays, 
solo, misery. Anna squeezes the colonel's hand and his heart hums. I don't understand why he's missed other birthdays, but solo misery? That I understand. And I understand that Anna was here while he was away. She made sure the birthday still happened. Victor laughs at Micah climbing up pegs on a wall. He drops my leash, his walking stick. Stay, Miss Daisy. Stay. Don't fly. I bet I can climb higher than you, Miho. He shouts, he runs, he climbs, pulling his injured leg up the wall stiffly. His heart and Micah's heart sing together, cool, clear water. Don't fly, Daisy. This is worth the stay. Okay, so how sweet is that? Birthday party, dad's there, dad's digging it, everybody's happy. Mom's happy, new baby's there, Daisy's there, everyone's having a great time. I hope it continues for the family. Next chapter seven, choose your role wisely. So we'll see if um, we'll see if the pack, the Alberta family chooses their roles wisely. So thank you for tuning in, my class. I miss you. I hope to see you at 2:30 today. And otherwise, take care, stay healthy, and I'll see you for chapter seven.